This is 905 McCord. It is a uh, duplex home. So this is the kitchen, obviously. Right off the kitchen, you have an all seasons coat room, hats. Now you need a third one. It used to be gloves and hats and scarves, but now it's gloves, hats, scarves, and masks, right? <laughs> There's for all year round, but even though you're gonna be using it, and here is uh flows right into the LVP flooring, into a carpeted dining area, and a living room. So traditionally, I've seen a dining room set up here with a table of four, and then from here they would L out the couches, television there. It's a pretty big room, so this is probably like 16. This is probably like. 18. This kitchen is pretty big. This is probably like 14, but with that there, it looks a little smaller. So if you want to count just moving space, it's 12. Right here, uh, you can use two. So I've seen a table here, and I've also seen a little table for two here. Why? I don't know. Some people only need two, two people table. There's a fridge. You're welcome to it. There's a stove. You're welcome to it. There is a dishwasher, we welcome to it, but you know, we're not responsible for appliances. They're here, if you don't want them, we'll take them out of here. You walk this way, there's a lot of little storage areas everywhere. This is for like, uh, you know, maybe linens and stuff. Then, this is more for like toiletries and things. Has the uppers too, I'm just too short. And you come here, there's the bathroom, same LVP flooring. So the bathroom was good, nice spacious sink, nice big mirror, a lot of light, shower surround. The weird thing about this is this is the dryer. This actually sits on top of a double stack, or this is the washer. Yeah, this one is the washer. And I seen a dryer out there, so I don't really know why. We'll go take a look. So in here you have more storage. Actually, I lied. This is the furnished room. I forgot. Sorry, guys. I'm only human after all. Then you got the two bedrooms. This will be considered a master. This one's huge. 14. 14. You can fit anything. Anything you want. Pretty big closet. Uh, a lot of shelving. This is an opening to clean out. Any clogs, sinks. Huge, huge, huge. This is your yard. Let's look out here. Nice yarded area. Nice, beautiful greenery you're looking at. Come this way. And this is uh, bedroom two, but just as big, man. It's, it's only 12, though. It's 12 instead of 14. So it's 12 by 12 instead of 14 by 14. So, I mean, this is huge, too. These rooms are so big. I mean, there's so much you can do in here. This has a pretty big closet as well. A lot of shelving. There's a mirror for uh, anyone who wants to admire their outfit. I mean, you think about it. This is the second bedroom. You can put easily full-size bed and a full-size bed. The bunk bed with the three on the top. Dressers here. There's a lot you can do. Depends. Depends what you're looking for. So this is a 905 McCord, Valparaiso, Indiana, close to downtown, close to everything, really. This is a nice place, nice home. Oh, there's one more thing. I got a couple seconds. You got to bear with me because I took off my shoes because, of course, it's raining today. And then there's a the carpet, so I had to take off my shoes. So with shoelaces untied, you have a carport. Not a garage. There's no door. Carport. You fit one car comfortably in here. Back here, there's more space for storage. And here's what I was telling you. I've, I saw this back here for the first time. I don't know if it works. If it works, y'all welcome to use it. But if not, then you need the dryer only or hang up your stuff. It's up to you. Look at it. You lock your stuff in here. So you cut, you're responsible for your own snow, your own yard area. So you gotta cut your own stuff. So you'll be having a nice spacious yard here. The dry path. 
Nice.